Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on, guys? So it is finally official that Javante Tank Davis will be fighting against Ryan Garcia early next year. Both of them will be taking another fight before they face off against each other, and I believe that's because the networks, they took so long making this fight that they had no choice but to push it further. So Javante, he finally reacted to this news, and he said, I'll be back in the ring January 7th. Stay tuned for more details. After that, it's me and Ryan, signed, sealed, delivered, done deal. Ryan Garcia said, boxing needs this fight right now. It's time for us to get back to what made this sport so great for the fans. Glamorous fights in places like Las Vegas, grudge match storylines, and most importantly, the best fighting the best, end quote. Ryan Garcia definitely couldn't have said it better because that's exactly what this fight provides for the sport of boxing. We definitely needed this fight, especially after that massive letdown of the Errol Spence, Terrence Crawford fight not coming to fruition. Now, if you can't tell from my voice, I just woke up to this news. It's 10 in the morning where I'm at right now. And when I woke up, my phone had tons of notifications and I was hoping it was for a big fight. And this is pretty much as big as it gets. Javante Tang Davis versus Ryan Garcia is a massive fight. For those of you guys who don't know, uh, there were polls conducted like uh, earlier this year asking fans, what fight do you want to see the most? And surprisingly, uh, Ryan Garcia versus Tank Davis got more votes than any other fight in the sport of boxing. For years, we've been talking about the Fantastic Four which includes Javante, Ryan Garcia, Devin Haney, and Teofimo Lopez. While Teofimo Lopez refused to fight Devin Haney for obvious reasons, you gotta give Ryan Garcia a lot of credit because he finally took the Javante Tank Davis fight. And Ryan Garcia did look his best in his last fight against Javier Fortuna. So I expect this to be a very competitive fight. You know, they don't have an official date for the fight yet, but one thing I do know is PBC, they already have the May 6th date. And there were rumors that that date was supposed to be for Wilder versus Andy Ruiz. But to me, it makes more sense to have this fight on Cinco de Mayo. Because this would definitely be the biggest fight involving a Mexican fighter. And Javante Tank Davis is known for beating Mexican fighters. So that's more of a reason for everyone to tune in on Cinco de Mayo for this fight. That's all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one. All right, now check this out, guys. If you're looking to repair eczema scars, burns and bruises, dark spots and blemishes, the fever blisters, diabetic ulcers, this right here is the perfect product for you guys. It's called L.O. Dekey Face and Body Oil. Athletes and top-ranking boxers, they're also using it after training to reduce swelling, inflammation, and to ease the pain. So get yours today. Go to LODekey.com. Like them on Facebook and follow them on Instagram. Let me tell you guys about Issa Israel Law Firm. It is a full-service legal practice based in Denver, Colorado, an emerging hub for combat sports and high-altitude training. If you're a fighter inside or outside of the ring and you need a law firm you can trust to fight for you, visit thefighterfirm.com or email help at iilawfirm.com. Legal representation is usually limited to plaintiffs or defendants in Colorado, but iFirm can help anyone in the world with trademarking their business name, logos, and U.S. immigration issues. This brother has been my attorney for a while and helped guide me through all kinds of business and civil issues, so make sure you guys go to thefighterfirm.com.